Good morning, Sandro, and good morning, Daddy, Peppy, Puppy. Today, I thought I'd read you another funny book. And I'm not sure if you know about Oscar from Sesame Street. I don't know if you watch Sesame Street, but there is a little character, and his name is Oscar the Grouch. So I thought it would be funny to read you a story about Oscar the Grouch. Because I know you like to laugh, and I do too, and so does your pappy. So here's the book. Oscar's Rotten Birthday. It's pretty funny already to me. And you're not, you're not going to believe this, but Zia Katie, when she was a little girl, somebody bought this book for her, and I still have it. Okay? And here is the picture of all the friends from Sesame Street. There they are. Looks like they're all reading a book, too. So it's called Oscar's Rotten Birthday. And if you know Oscar, you know he lives in a garbage can, doesn't he? That's pretty silly right there. Well, Oscar the Grouch lives in a trash can on Sesame Street. And there it is. Every day, the mud man brings Oscar a jar of mud. Oscar loves mud. He also loves rotten eggs and broken toys. Do you have any broken toys, Sandro? Well, Oscar loves them. Oscar hates pretty flowers. He also hates ice cream and furry kittens. And there he is. And there's the garbage man bringing him a jar of mud. That's what makes him happy. One day, Oscar heard Ernie and Bert talking. This will be the best birthday party ever, Ernie said. Yuck! Who's having a party? asked Oscar. Ernie and Bert smiled. We can't tell you, they said. It's a surprise. And there's Oscar. And he's mad because there's Bert and Ernie. And they are going to be having a birthday party for somebody. Wonder who it is. Who cares, called Oscar. I hate birthday parties. <coughs> Ernie and Bert walked away. Then Oscar remembered. Oh no, he growled. Today is my birthday. I hate parties, he shouted. I hate party games and birthdays and presents. But Ernie and Bert were gone. No one heard Oscar. And there's Ernie and Bert walking away, and they're going to plan a birthday party. Everyone on Sesame Street was getting ready for Oscar's birthday party. There's the baker, and he was going to make him a cake. Cookie Monster made a cake all by himself. Now he needed a big cake box. The baker on Sesame Street was happy to help him, and there's the Cookie Monster with his cake. Grover was busy in the woods. He was looking for a present for Oscar. Oh, Oscar will be so happy, said Grover. And there's the woods with the rabbit and the raccoon, and there, there he is looking for a present for his friend. Grover's looking for a present for his friend, and Big Bird was busy too. He was writing a birthday song for Oscar. Songs are not easy to write, even for us birds, said Big Bird. And there's Big Bird writing a song for Oscar the Grouch. Everyone on Sesame Street was busy, busy finding presents, busy making presents, busy wrapping presents. At last, it was time for the party to start, and everybody was ready. They loved their friend, even though he was a grouch. Sometimes we have grouchy friends, but we still have to love them, right, Sandro? Oscar was ready, too. He put a sign on his garbage can, and it said, Go away! He put on dark glasses. When they come, he said, I won't see them. He put on earmuffs. When they sing, he said, I won't hear them. And then he slammed down his garbage can. So he went inside his garbage can. And there he is telling everybody, go away, go away. Ah, <sighs> mm, yum, yum, good song. Everyone came to the party. Cookie came with his cake. Grover came with his present. Everyone brought something. Big Bird gave everyone a piece of paper. Here are the words to my new song. So he had a new song for Oscar the Grouch, who was hiding in his can, telling everybody to go away. He was so crabby. Then they all sang, 
Rotten birthday to you, rotten birthday to you, rotten birthday, grouchy Oscar, rotten birthday to you. Oscar popped up in his can. Hey, that's a great song, he said. Because they didn't say happy birthday, they said rotten birthday, and that's what he likes. Grover gave Oscar his present. I picked them myself. Yuck, flowers. Then he tore off the wrapping paper and Oscar smelled it. It's stinkweed. Nice, smelly stinkweed. Hey, thanks, Grover. Ernie and Bert gave Oscar two broken toys. Betty Lou gave him a bag of peanut shells. There were other presents, too. There was an old sock a flat tire, a jar of mud, and a broken clock. And there's all the rotten things for Oscar the Grouch. And guess what? That's what he likes, so he was happy. You gotta make people happy. You have to do what they want, right, Alessandro? Then everyone played games. They played pin the tail on the pig, toss the trash in the can, and dunk for rotten apples. When they finished playing, Cookie said, time for cake. He gave Oscar the big box. Ugh, Oscar said, I hate birthday cake. I wonder what's in it. Oscar opened the box and there was a big cake inside, a dirty, messy mud cake with one broken candle. Wow, that's a great <coughs> cake said Oscar. Thanks, Cookie Monster. And there's the mud cake, and that made him happy, because that's what he likes. Everybody likes something different. This is the best, I mean the worst birthday party ever, said Oscar, and then he frowned. Hey, I just thought of something awful, he said. Now I have to wait a whole year until my next rotten birthday. He slammed down his lid, and everyone sang, Rotten birthday, grouchy Oscar, one more time. And everybody, and everybody was happy on Sesame Street, and they all went back to reading their books. So, everybody was happy because Oscar is Oscar the Grouch, and he wanted a rotten birthday, and guess what? The friends all did it, because even though he's rotten, they still love him, and he still loves them, even though he lives in a garbage can. So, Alessandro, I hope you have a wonderful day with your daddy, and you do a lot of fun things in your little friend PJ. And I think you have a little fish now too, but I don't know what his name is. But I hope you all have fun together. And remember, love knows no boundaries. So my love is coming right through here to you because I love you so much. I love you, honey. I love your daddy too and your mommy. I love you. Have a great day. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.